Do you wanna know how to encourage children to eat healthy food? Well, that's what this video is all about. I'm Nicolene Peck. I specialize in parenting, relationships, communication, and children. In this video, I'm gonna share four tips for helping your children choose to eat healthy food. I know that some of those kiddie foods can really become addictive. In fact, to the point that the child can decide they don't wanna try things like celery or apples or broccoli, some of those things that scare some children. But there are ways to help children develop a healthy taste, a healthy appetite, and desire to eat things that maybe are better for them. Tip number one, be sure that you set the example. You need to be eating the healthy foods too. In fact, probably you wanna decrease some of the treats and really make the treats more of a specialty instead of a daily thing. Sometimes because they're just available everywhere, every store, every gas station, they're some of our favorite recipes, we just eat too many treats. And because of eating so many treats, our children get in the habit of feeling like they need to have a sugar fix or a treat every day, maybe even every meal. In fact, I've noticed that there are many people that prepare lunches for children that always put sugary things in the lunch. Now, this doesn't mean that sugar is always bad. In fact, it has its place, but we should definitely teach the children that it doesn't have to be involved in every meal that they eat. Tip number two is to start young. So no matter what age your children are, they can start getting a taste for healthy food. Make sure that when your children are young, you give them healthy snacks, things like nuts, things like string cheese. Now I know you're thinking, wait a minute, that's dairy and that's nuts. I'm not talking about babies, I'm talking about younger children. But also, even in the baby years, you can start with healthier type snacks for the babies. Instead of all the little puffed up things that really don't have any type of nutritional value except for carbs and sugars, you can replace those with things that are a little bit more on the healthy spectrum instead. You can take bits of real food and smash that up. I know it takes a little bit more work, but it's absolutely worth it if they start getting a taste for what is good for them instead of just for what's convenient. Maybe you have some healthy ideas for foods that people might want to try introducing to their children. Have you introduced a healthy food to one of your children successfully? If so, put it in the comments below so that everyone can learn from your experience as well. When your children are young, you may have to give them an instruction to try new things. Around the world, I am known for teaching teaching people the skills and principles of self-government so that they can use them themselves and teach them to their children. There are four basic skills, and of these four basic skills, there is one skill that is the basic of all basic skills. A person cannot learn self-government and will not respect their parents unless they learn the skill following instructions. When a person learns to follow instructions, they look at the person, keep a calm face, voice, and body, say okay, or ask to disagree appropriately, do the task immediately, and then check back. Did you know that you can give your children an instruction to eat their food, maybe a certain amount of bites for their food. You could say, because you're four years old, I'm giving you an instruction to eat four bites of your spaghetti or whatever it happens to be that you're serving the child. And the child will look at you, they'll keep a calm face, voice, and body, say, okay. And then they'll take the four bites and check back with you. This is powerful. I know some of you are thinking, no way, they wouldn't do it. But they actually can learn to follow instructions for everything, even eating food. A fun thing that you might wanna try, which is something that we did when my children were young, I allowed the children to pick one food that they never had to eat. And I told them that every other food, they would need to take as many bites as their age. So if a child was eight years old, they would have to take eight bites. So my children did not know what that one food should be. I remember I had one child that picked beets. He just did not like beets. But my daughter said to me, mom, what are you picking for your one food? And I said, sardines. And she said, is that bad? 
And I said, oh yeah, that's really bad. So she said, well then I'm picking sardines too. I thought it was so funny because I was never going to serve sardines. So her strategy wasn't very good, but that made it so that she would have to try absolutely everything that I would ever serve. And it was a really successful thing. I also told my children that you have to try something 16 times before you decide that you are okay with the taste of it and that you like it. So that meant that I was not going to be listening to any types of complaints and they knew no complaints would work because they had to try it 16 times, they had to take as many bites as their age, and they had their one thing that they would never have to eat. And guess what? They didn't get to change that one thing after a while. The one thing was picked, that was it. As the children get older, you want to do some field research so that they fully invest in staying away from the yucky stuff. I definitely did this better with my younger children than I did with my older children. In fact, my younger children are absolutely conscientious about being healthy in their food choices. When we give them candy for holidays, they don't even necessarily want to eat all of the candy and lots of times end up throwing a big portion of it away. They're like, I just can't eat that much sugar, that much junk. I've got to have healthy stuff so that I'm good for my soccer games and stuff like that. So why did these younger children buy in even more than the older children? Well, because I did a lot of field research with them. So we would examine, oh, well, that person seems to be struggling a little bit with their health. Well, look at how they eat versus how this person eats. That makes a difference, maybe. Do you think what we take into our body matters? So we would look at different situations with how people were eating and see if it made a difference with their energy level and with their overall health. Sometimes the way a person ate even seemed to make a difference for how they could focus. Did you know there are certain things contained in like grains that makes it so that there are some people that have a hard time being able to focus? Well, it's true. So we started looking into all of that stuff. I taught my children about nutrition, really, not not just some food table that says this many servings, but really what food does to your body. And then they decided that they cared about that a whole lot more. Are you ready to eat healthy? I hope so. If you've enjoyed this video, I know you'll enjoy my class that I'm offering to you for free, which is called The Expectation Trap versus The Cycle for Success. Click on the link to that video now and you will learn key strategies and skills that you can use to help you and your children have more peaceful, productive days and to stop falling into some of those expectation traps that we might be making for ourselves.